I've been a student at UH for around two years and an activist, uh, sorry, the corporate I have to do with slaves keep the drug. It's not It's the decorum of the Senate. I've been a student at UH for around two years and an activist for a year and a half. My main issue is labor. Much of the University of Houston is not labor friendly. This university has policies which allow people to live in inhumane and dire conditions. UH also has policies that disrespect people who come to work every day and do a good job keeping this place open and running. We as students who pay tuition and citizens and, re and residents who pay taxes are responsible for keeping this university funded and running. We are also partly responsible for the policies of the university, even if they are moral. I can speak to you about all of my past experience with the student government, how it has been uncooperative and often seemed to work against the best interests of the university and its students. I could also speak to you about the corruption I've seen in the administration and the lack of cooperation they have shown in their actions towards students working for positive change. All in all, these past experiences I have don't really matter unless we can learn from them and make better decisions to create a better present and future for this university and its people. When we look at this university, we need to define every, every, the uses of everything in it. The purpose of this university is to educate students, and as students, we are the lifeblood and the primary purpose for its existence. As all faculty and staff should theoretically be here to help with our goal of learning, the faculty teach and facilitate our learning. A big question I have is the role of staff on this campus. Some are very well paid, if not overpaid. Some live in absolute poverty. The former are high-level administrators, like Ms. Valdez, who was just in here a minute ago. I've heard that they do a lot of work to keep this university running, and several of them are paid hundreds of thousands of dollars per year for this work. Work at this university that often goes unappreciated and disrespected is work of the so-called unskilled and skilled laborers. While the administrators have their meetings and send out reports about the progress they are making with UH, the visible tactile evidence of their work is often hard to find. The, the people whose work we benefit from and see every single day is the, group of the is the work of the group of laborers that I brought up. We see our buildings built, cleaned, and maintained. We eat the food they grow and prepare. We drink the water they get to us. We wear the clothes they sew, and our lives as students are impacted by the hard work they do every single day. They are part of our community, and as part of it, we need to respect them and appreciate them for what they do for us and this university. We need to appreciate the fact that this university doesn't exist because a few people who work in offices get paid huge sum, sums of money and take all the credit for the university, make it exist. Rather, every day we come here and live and learn and we are benefiting from the work of literally thousands of people. The workers I mentioned live and work on and off campus. Many live in poverty and are subjected to on-the-job abuse <coughs> to add to the stress of po that poverty imposes on their lives. They are subjected to the negative effects of racism, discrimination, classism, and sexism. They face unemployment if they speak up about the injustice they suffer, and often face eviction, displacement, and homelessness if they are unable to keep the oppressive jobs they have. <coughs> Poverty and these other conditions are very violent factors in people's lives, and if we do not work to stop these conditions, we are imposing violence on people who are doing nothing but supporting us at this university. <coughs> This is a new student government, and you have a chance to do well by the hardworking people who run this campus and keep this campus running. You have the opportunity to help the people supporting us, and to make UH a symbol of fair labor, labor and community instead of a symbol of distance, a commuter school, and oppression, as unfortunately it is now. <coughs> student groups like UH Students Against Sweatshops will be working very hard to help these people no matter what. I ask that in all of the decisions you make, you measure the effect of the people that keep this, you measure the effect they have on the people who keep this university running instead of just the effect they have on the few rich people that work in Eat Cullen and take all of the credit. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any other students wishing to address? I just wanted to talk to you guys 